Alabama Farmers Cooperative looking to give back to the community and those less fortunate. Every year, AFC participates in a multiple holiday stewardship project, but this year they're opening donation drives to the public in hopes of helping more local children that need it. News 19's Lindsay Smith has everything you need to know if you're interested in helping and donating. Experts say inflation is bound to impact holiday spending, and the Alabama Farmers Cooperative is looking to take that pressure off North Alabama parents this holiday season. The co-op is hosting several public donation drives and wants you to consider donating. Both drives are set to benefit local children. If you think about a child that might not have you know, the best home life, if we could make their holiday, you know, even more special or make a difference, I think that's why you should give back. Several Toys for Tots donation drop boxes have been set up at the co-op's corporate office. They're looking for new, unused toys for Morgan, Coleman, and Lawrence County kids who may not otherwise have a gift to open Christmas morning. You'll also find drop boxes for Clothe Our Kids of North Alabama a nonprofit organization that provides students in need with a week's worth of clothing, underwear, and hygiene products. One of the great things about the Toys for Tots and Clothes Our Kids campaigns are they're, they're benefiting our children and the youth. And we believe that by giving them a, a good start or helping them have a good start, that, that's a great way to pay it forward and help those that, that are less fortunate but, but will grow up to be good citizens one day. Every year, AFC hosts several donation drives, and each year its employees step up to give back to families who may be less fortunate. We live in a great place, we have a great community, and it's part of our duty to help those that are less fortunate than us. AFC's Taylor McCray tells me their goal for 2023 is to receive 150 toys through the Toys for Tots drive and provide enough socks and underwear for at least 20 students. For toys and clothes, it's, you know, the whole age range for kids. I know last year Toys for Tots mentioned that there wasn't as many toys for the older high school age kids, so we're really trying to focus on that age bracket. Anyone interested in donating can do so now through December 6th. Reporting in Morgan County, Lindsey Smith, News 19. So if you're interested in donating, you can stop by AFC's corporate office in Decatur during normal business hours. Their address and business hours are listed on our website, whnt.com.